If you guys are planning a Zenith 750 Super Duty build, I have a tip for you on the back end of the fuselage. Now, as you work your way to the aft end of the fuselage and you start working on getting your horizontal stabilizer mounted and this dorsal fin, there's going to be a few rivets on the fuselage that you're going to want to leave open. And the reason why is because this dorsal fin shares some of the rivets in here. For example, right here, this hole right here, you can see this line of rivets coming down. If you have a rivet in here like I did, you'll have to drill it out. Same with this rivet up here. And there's also a couple other rivets that you're going to want to not install because it does interfere with this. For example, under here on this diagonal brace is a rivet, but it doesn't line up with any of these holes. So if you leave the rivet in the skin and this doubler, this L angle that's under here, uh, this piece will not sit flush with the fuselage because you're gonna have a domed rivet head under here. So let me remove the dorsal fin and we will take a look at exactly which rivets you're going to want to leave out. All right, to show you where I'm at here on the fuselage, you can see there's a, a bulkhead there. So let's go one, two bulkheads, and then you have this diagonal. It's a big diagonal around the back. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The 12th rivet on from the right side of the airplane, starting at the first rivet in the diagonal, the 12th rivet you're going to want to not install. Now, better than not installing it is if you can dimple this before you build it and dimple the hole in the L angle under here, you can put a flush mounted rivet in here. Um, because like I said, that uh, the dorsal fin goes over here, but there's no hole. Um, so I'd recommend if you can just put a flat rivet in here, a flush mounted rivet, that'd be perfect. All right, now coming backwards from that hole, you have this next bulkhead here. Now these two rivets, which is the one, two, three, four, fifth rivet in on both sides, the dorsal fin does get riveted here. So just leave these open when you're riveting your fuselage together because later on you'll have a rivet that goes through, through the dorsal fin and then down through here. Now coming backwards here, we have where the two top skins meet, these two rivets here, I had to drill out because the dorsal fin goes right over these rivets, but there's no hole that lines up with these. So uh, again, when you're building your airplane, go ahead and dimple these and put a flush mounted rivet in there. Now there's one more coming back here so you can see where the two skins meet. One, two, three. The third rivet back is where the dorsal fin gets riveted again. So again, go ahead and leave this hole open. Now what I'm planning to do with these two holes back here and then the one on the forward diagonal that um, the rivet doesn't go through on a dorsal fin but it just sits on top of, they make a tool where you can dimple these holes after an assembly like this is already built. And I have four of them and all of them are the wrong size. So I'm going to see if I can order the correct size. And what I'll be able to do is dimple these holes and put a flush rivet in here. And then that dorsal fin will sit flush over the top of those rivets and it'll, or it'll sit flush on top of the skin because it won't be sitting on top of a domed rivet. But for you guys, if you haven't built this airplane already, or if you haven't started your fuselage, just go ahead and, and dimple these while everything's taken apart. And then as you're building, you can go ahead and put the flush rivets in there. Now I wanted to show you this dimple tool here. It's uh, actually fairly simple and you do make a couple different kinds. This particular one comes with nails, just a regular nail, and it has the two dies. Now how you use one of these is you put the die or on a nail like this, and then you can reach in your fuselage or whatever and put this through the hole. And then from the top of the skin, you put the other die on there. And then what you'll do is, of course, you'll have your skin in between here. You just use your, your regular rivet, rivet squeezer, your handheld squeezer, and you squeeze it together. And obviously it's not gonna break the nail or pull it like a rivet, but what it does is it squeezes these, these dies together and puts a dimple in your skin. Then you just take the top off, 
and in this you can push down through the hole and now your hole will be dimpled. I just need to get the right size for this hole. Now one other little side note about this dorsal fin is you'll notice there's a couple spots where there's a rivet kind of right on the edge and Zenith kind of, they already notch out the dorsal fin to go around that rivet. So there's a little notch out there, there's a little notch out here, and on the other side, obviously the same thing, we have a notch here. Now they also have a notch right here where there are no rivets. So maybe on the 750 stole or something like that, there's, a, there's a, something under here with a rivet, but you don't need this one. But one that I had to make, which was not in my fin, was this one up here. There is a rivet right on the edge right here, and there was no notch in the dorsal fin. So I just used a Dremel and notched that out. Super easy to do, but just a little note for you. And that's what the dorsal fin looks like once it's installed. All right, guys, I hope that little tip helps you. If you've already built your fuselage like I did, well, you'll see that you'll need to drill out a few rivets. If you haven't built yet, hopefully you see this video before you do rivet your fuselage together so you know which rivets that you can leave out and install later when you're installing the dorsal fin. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I will see you on the next Super Duty update.